So if we're going to be taking a look at what we have is this polynomial x to the fifth plus 7. And what we want to do is be able to determine, well, x minus 1, will that divide evenly into that polynomial? So a couple things that we're going to do is first we're going to take our, our factor and we're going to go and take a look at it as a 0. So we'll say x is going to equal 1. Now, when applying synthetic division, what we're going to do for this problem is I take the 1 on the outside. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this polynomial, but I need to write the full definition of the polynomial in our descending order. So you can see we have x to the fifth, but we do not have an x to the fourth, x to the third, x squared, or an, a linear x, but we do have our constant 7. So what I need to do, what am I writing my x to the fifth? So we need to make sure we include our coefficients for this is x to the fifth, x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, a linear x, and then 7. So now to finish the problem, to apply synthetic division, what we need to do is first term will drop down to 1, then we do multiply across 1 times 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 7 plus 1 is 8, therefore we have a remainder of 8, a constant of 1, a coefficient of x of 1, coefficient of x squared is 1, coefficient of x cubed is 1, and a coefficient of x to the fourth is 1. Therefore, our quotient polynomial that divides um, x minus 1 into x, fifth, x to the fifth plus 7 is going to equal x to the fourth plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1. And then we make sure we take our remainder and we put it over our divisor. And there we go. That's how we complete synthetic division of polynomials. Thanks.